News on the next cool car in Transformers 3. And no, it's not from Detroit, but it does sound like this. Also, it looks like BMW may have a new customer in the form of a police car maker. And the Fiat 500 is coming to the US. But could it also go electric? We'll let you know. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Dean. Welcome to Fast Lane Daily on, well, just one of those days. Slow news day. <laughs> Royal Purple is the performance oil that outperforms. More power and torque, reduced wear, better economy, longer oil life. It's so good that 25 out of 28 of America's top high performance engine builders relied on it at this year's Engine Masters Challenge. Why? Royal Purple delivers real world performance. Royal Purple, the performance oil that outperforms. Yesterday we got news that Ferrari auctioned off the very first 458 Italia here in the United States for a whopping 530,000 large, all of which would go to benefit charity efforts in Haiti. Wow, it's very nice of them. Now today we've learned that the 458 will also become a motion picture star. Yep, Michael Bay has decided that the 458 is going to become the latest Autobot in the third Transformers movie. The movie is filming right now as we speak and is set to be released in July 2011. Is Megan Fox going to be in this one? I hope so, because she uh, is I slamming. Hope so too. Her and her stubby thumbs. She's hot. She's not hot. She does have stubby thumbs, dude. You could look into the look into Google. <laughs> look into it or type it in, as I should say. <laughs> anyway, she has stubby thumbs, though. She's hot. All right, police in the U.S. now have something even more badass coming their way. According to sources at BMW, an American law enforcement vehicle manufacturer, Carbon Motors, has formed a deal with BMW to supply it with 240,000 diesel engines. More specifically, Carbon Motors is looking to get a hold of the BMW 3.0 liter inline six turbo diesel, which cranks out 300 horsepower, a supposed zero to 60 time of 6.5 seconds, and a top speed of 155 miles per hour. There's no name for the vehicle they're aiming to place the engines into or any finalized specs, but if they end up building something out of the E7 concept car, you might want to take that second look into the rear view mirror when you blow by an underpass, or your V1 doesn't catch the cops x band in time. I'm just saying. Pull. Pull. Oh, that's right. Remember the four cop cars? Yep. Those? Yeah, well, you guys picked the Ford SHO. Yeah, well, that's actually was my, was my pick, too. Uh, yeah. yeah. I like that car. If I mean, if I were to like a cop car, that would be probably the one I would have to pick. Cops, too. If I were a cop. Cops, yeah. Cops, cops commented as well. Yeah. Let's move on. And we've been known to give Chrysler, well, a load of crap over the past two years. I mean, when you produce something like this, I mean, it takes biting your tongue not to laugh. I mean, just look at it. But today, there's news of something that's kind of got us a little bit excited. As you know, since Fiat bought Chrysler after their bankruptcy, the Italian company has made it no secret that they want to use the Chrysler dealer network here in the U.S. to sell their small concept cars. Compact cars. Compact cars. Oh, man. Anyway, we've seen confirmation that the Fiat 500 will come over, but now we hear that Chrysler and Fiat engineers are working on an all-electric version of the Mini Fighter. Dubbed the Fiat 500 EV, the new car will be comprised of three main systems, an advanced lithium ion battery, high power electric powertrain, and an EV control unit to manage overall power flow. Chrysler has already received upwards of 48 million from the US Department of Energy to build 140 Ram plug-in hybrids. This new move could promote further government credits towards the ailing US automaker. We can expect to see the normal Fiat 500 next year on US roads, with the electric version being debuted around the same time for the 2012 model year. Wow. Man, I messed that up. You have a rough day. Yeah, it's hump day. Respect. Well, that's it for Fast Lane Daily today on this hump day. Remember, next week we'll be at the New York Auto Show. I know that's next week, but I'm just making sure that you guys know we'll be there. All right? So I'll talk to you guys later. And uh, what, did I say? what did I say? Concept? What was I? Uh, I said wrong? concept. What's I meant compact. What's wrong? What's wrong? What do you mean what's wrong? Do you want to talk? No. You sure? What are you talking about? Out of it. JF's mental. He's <laughs> mental today. He's got a flight in like 20 minutes. I don't know what he's talking about.